A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Tuesday, March 12th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. A portion of the facade was blown off the north side of the Doubletree Hotel, commonly called Poughkeepsie Grand Hotel, in downtown Poughkeepsie yesterday. This is the second time in recent history that large sections of the facade have crashed onto the west side section of Route 4455 in recent years. No one was reported injured in either case. City of Poughkeepsie firefighters shut down traffic on Civic Center Plaza and Mill Street temporarily as firefighters extended a ladder and worked to remove loose pieces of the siding that were at risk of breaking free and falling. Firefighters said that the backing of the facade appeared to have sustained significant water damage, which may have caused the deterioration of the bonding agent that's supposed to keep the facade in place. Assisted by the high winds, the facade was loose enough to be blown off the building. The strong winds also blew over trees and brought down power lines across the Mid-Hudson region on Monday afternoon. An audit of the Ulster County CARES One program to provide aid for businesses impacted by COVID-19 found significant issues with the awarding of funds. County Controller March Gallagher says the audit found discrepancies from the intent of the relief plan, she said. Eight ineligible businesses were made awards, ineligibility based on, you know, not being Ulster County residents or making too much income. Um, We found that uh, the use of the funds, you know, we felt may have deviated from legislative priorities. Gallagher said the county must redouble its efforts to ensure that the program implementation is aligned with legislative intent. Ulster County is well on its way to meeting its 2025 goal of turning 20% of its fleet of county-operated vehicles green, according to a just-released report. The report closely examines the county's fleet inventory, implementation strategies, fuel use and emissions, information, and makes recommendations about the county's transition to zero-emission vehicles. At the close of 2023, there were a total of 481 vehicles in the county fleet, And during the year, 50 new ones entered service. Of those, 22 met the county's Green Fleet policy definition of green vehicles. Weeks after three people were injured, two by gunfire, at Whispers Cocktail Lounge at 428 Route 17M in the town of Wallkill, another man was stabbed and a suspect was arrested this past Saturday. Wallkill Town Police said the latest incident occurred just before 4 a.m. on Saturday when a 32-year-old Ellenville man had been stabbed in the neck. He was transported to Garnett Health Medical Center by Wallkill Emergency Medical Services. A subsequent investigation led to the arrest of 44-year-old Paul Washington of Middletown. He was charged with assault, criminal possession of a weapon, and criminal possession of a controlled substance. Washington was arraigned and remanded to the Orange County Jail without bail. He's here. The Easter Bunny is visiting the Galleria at Crystal Run every day now until Easter. And he's not camera shy. Get your picture taken with Mr. Peter Cottontail. Children, families, and even pets are welcome. Now you can make an appointment ahead of time at whereisbunny.com. Reservations are strongly encouraged. Just go to galleriacrystalrun.com for all the details. And happy Easter. State Senator James Scoofus yesterday announced his plan to get toll relief for Orange County commuters. Before heading to Albany to work on the Senate version of the 2024-25 budget, he talked about getting the same discount that Westchester and Rockland commuters enjoy on the cuomo Tappanzi Bridge. Westchester and Rockland commuters get a 20% discount on their trips. Scoofus wants the same discount to be made available to Orange commuter trips. Scoofus wants the same discount to be made available to Orange County commuters who use Easy Pass. He wants to make the discount part of the state budget. The plan would carry a $3 million price tag for the spending plan. He said the discount would also be helpful to those 
who travel to Manhattan to see a Broadway show or visit family and friends. Scoofus's plan is in keeping with his other transit-related efforts, such as opposing congested pricing in Manhattan. In referring to congested pricing, Scoofus called it a bad plan that needs to be brought to a screeching halt. Scoofus has joined other legislators representing Orange County in a federal lawsuit filed by the United Federal Teachers to stop the congestion pricing proposal. A 47-year-old Middletown man faces six years in state prison when sentenced in May following his guilty plea to a violent robbery and assault in that city last year. Orange County District Attorney David Hoovler said David Johnson pled guilty to robbery and, in addition to the prison time, will face five years of post-release supervision. It's alleged that Johnson approached a man who was entering a grocery store and demanded money. After the victim complied, he walked away only for Johnson to pursue him, grab him by the throat and knock him to the floor. Johnson then repeatedly punched the victim in the face, knocking him unconscious. A week after a landlord's association challenged the city of Newburgh's rent stabilization law, the city council Monday night approved nine people to serve on a rent guidelines board. All members must be city residents. The council vote was unanimous. The city's recommendations will now be forwarded to the State Division of Housing and Community Renewal for its approval, which is expected to be a formality. The Sullivan County Sheriff's Office captured a suspect with the use of a thermal imaging camera on a drone after he allegedly stole an American flag from outside the trading post in Rock Hill and then two alcoholic beverages from a nearby gas station. At the time of his arrest, Landon Duloff had wrapped himself in the flag and was drinking the beverages while hiding in a wooded area behind Thompson Sanitation. Company owner Chrissy Walsh was impressed with the way officers treated Duloff. I watched them engage with him um, like he was a human being. And that really made me realize that the police, whether it's state police or sheriff's department, Monticello PD, uh, uh, Fallsburg, this job is way deeper than I'm just a police officer. They, they really have a mental health um, job as well. Duloff was arraigned and released on an appearance ticket following last Wednesday's incident. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.